Hello Jam Kids! Welcome to our second Jam video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Probably getting a little stir crazy. I know my kids are. I had to laugh at Jordan last night because we were doing dishes and the dog barked and she turned around and she's like, oh, I thought somebody was here and I was so excited. <laughs> she's, yeah, it's hard to not have contact with people. We get that. So um, I'm glad that we can connect in other ways as a church and as a Jam family. So Hope you guys are going to enjoy the videos. All right, so the other thing is, um, as we're going through this, I think it's helpful to think, I don't know, start your day with ways that you're thankful. Despite what's going on, we still have a lot to be thankful for. Um, so think about that in the morning. I'm thankful that my husband is a decent mechanic who works at home, so his business is not affected. Um, I'm thankful that we have all kinds of food. We raise our own beef and pork and chicken. So we have food for our family for a long time. Speaking of cows, do you like my picture? I was bored and I rearranged, so I'll give you a better view of him. I think he's adorable. At any rate, so start your day with all the things you're thankful for. Um, I'm thankful that God is our refuge, he's our protector, and he is sovereign, he's in control. All right, so on to our next holiday. It is the holiday of Purim. It's the Jewish Halloween. And this holiday um, is celebrating a time when Haman, who was the advisor to the Persian king, drew lots to figure out which day he was going to kill all the Jewish people. Crazy day in their history. Um, the word Purim actually means lots. And... Um, this all shakes down in the book of Esther. So you're going to learn about this awesome book and Esther and her courage. So I'm going to have you guys watch a quick video that's going to give you an overview of the Purim holiday and some of the things that happened during that holiday. All right, enjoy. All right, so that's an overview of the holiday Purim. Pretty crazy and wild holiday. Just a note about drinking. Um, we know that God doesn't say you can't drink, but God is very clear about not getting drunk. So just wanted to make that note. So the, uh, um, the holiday starts in the synagogue with people reading the book of Esther. And whenever you hear Haman's name mentioned, they will boo and hiss and make all kinds of noise. So one thing I want you guys to do is find some way to make noise. Um, maybe you have a pill bottle, put some popcorn in it, you can shake that. If you're as unfortunate as I am to have a kazoo in your house, that's obnoxious, that would work. So anything to make noise. And then when you hear either Esther's name or Mordecai, you're going to cheer them on. All right, so, the other thing, a few other things that they do in this holiday is they eat hamantaschen cookies. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Oh, you guys. So, in my freezer, I just took them out. I don't know if you guys can see. I have got 10 pounds of these cookies that we were going to eat. So, they will be in my freezer and hopefully at some point we'll get those out and be able to eat those. The other thing they do, um, which Marco didn't know about, and I'm sure he will be sorely disappointed, is a lot of times during these parades and festivities, they go around and they bop people on the head with a some kind of soft hammer. All in fun, everybody plays around. So Marco, sorry, at some point, this bad boy will be in your hands, but for now, I'm going to deflate it because my kids have found it and it's not pretty. So, um, all right, so you guys are going to watch a video of the book of Esther. If you want to, you could have mom and dad read it or somebody read it, whichever, you know, whichever way you want to do it. But you're going to hear the story of Esther and you're going to boo and make noise when you hear Haman's name, the bad guy, and you're going to cheer for Esther and Mordecai. All right, get ready to make some noise. Before you start that activity, I want you guys to know that I am disappointed that I don't get to bop you guys on the head with a hammer. So, I was thinking 
So I don't have a hammer. I'm going to use this pillow and I'm going to invite my future fiance to come downstairs and I'm going to bob her on the head in front of you guys. So enjoy. I'm going to go get her. And that's Purim! Uh, Rachel had no idea who's doing that, so yeah. she has no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> it's a holiday. You get to bop people on the heads with a hammer. Oh, I didn't have one, so I brought a pillow. Thanks, Rach. Yep. She was so nervous looking the whole way down. <laughs> so, bopped your siblings on the head with a pillow or something, and... Read the book of Esther. It's a really good book. Really, really cool. And blow your kazoos or whatever when you hear Esther or Mordecai's name. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. All right, that's a pretty awesome book. Um, interestingly, God is not mentioned at all in the book of Esther. Uh, but we know he's certainly there with her as he is with all of history. Um, so there's some takeaways from the book of Esther. Um, one is that God is sovereign. He, he is in control of everything. And, you know, despite feeling like, oh, God's, you know, why did these bad things happen? I mean, Esther, you know, wasn't expecting to lose her parents and be adopted by her uncle, um, be taken as the queen, all of that. Um, but God's hand is in all of that. Um, because he is in control of history. He's sovereign. He knows everything that's going on. Nothing surprises him. So that's important to remember. Also, the importance of surrounding ourselves with godly men and women and good advisors. So the king had a horrible advisor. Haman was an evil man. Um, he did not surround himself with wise counsel. He took counsel from him and that was a real threat to the Jews. Um, luckily God redeemed that whole situation and used Esther. Um, but for us too it's, you know, I always pray for my kids and that they'll have godly friends and a godly husband someday. It's um, important to to surround ourselves with other Christians and um, people that we can count on that will give us wise advice. Um, the other thing is that God has placed us where we are for a reason. He has placed us in the family that he wants us to be in, in, in the place where we live, the time that we live. Um, there's a verse from Esther that I really like, Esther 4.14, where Haman, or not Haman, sorry, Mordecai is saying to Esther, who knows, perhaps you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. He's saying, you know what, Esther? Maybe this God put you here for a reason, and He's going to use you. Um, so we want to stay close to God, and we've been talking this whole year about the Holy Spirit and staying in tune with the Holy Spirit, and He will guide us and use us in ways that will honor God. So some really cool truths um, from that book. All right. Well, I think that is it for now. You have got your take-home challenge. Um, the take-home challenge could be a little bit tough. It was to deliver some goodies to a neighbor, whomever. Um, do what you're comfortable with. It's also food share month, so maybe um, you could drop off some food. I know there's a box at church. Um, drop off a canned good, something to go to the food, uh, to the peace center. Um, or just do something kind for someone. Send a letter. So you guys figure that out. Work on that. And until next time, hang in there. Uh, school starts on Monday. Yay. Did you ever think you'd be saying that? I can't wait to go back to school. Not physically go back to school, but virtually go back to school. All right. Uh, we'll be praying for you guys. Um, if you have any prayer requests, I am always open. You can call me, text me, FaceTime, email, whatever way you want. Um, if you have anything specific you want me to pray for. Um, but just know that I am thinking of you guys, praying for you. Um, you can pray for me also. I'll be heading into work uh, three or four days over the next few weeks at the hospital. So 
um, just pray for safety in all of that. So, all right, take care, guys. Until next time, see ya.